All right, today we're going to do American Honey by Lady Antebellum. The song is actually played uh, in an open tuning, but I'm going to show you how to play it first in uh, standard tuning, a simplified version, and then I'll, in the next video, I'll show you how to play it in the original open tuning. Now, for either one, the first thing you have to do is uh, detune every string one half step. So instead of quote unquote being in tuned in E, we're going to be in E flat. So the bottom, the lowest string, the low E string is going to be E flat, then A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. So in other words, all the strings are going to be tuned down one half step. But otherwise, we're in standard tuning for this version. All right, we only need six chords, uh, five chords, in fact. Uh, they are going to be a D shape, an A shape, B minor shape, G shape, and E minor shape. So, to start with, we'll take the first chord, which is gonna be a D shape, slightly modified. So what we're gonna do is use our ring finger on the third fret on the B string, our index finger on the second fret on the G string, then the D and the A will both be open. Okay, so we actually have an A on the bottom of this D chord. And the high E and the low E will both not be played. Okay, the next shape is going to be B minor shape, which means uh, the second fret on the A string with your index finger, the fourth fret on the D string with your ring finger, the fourth fret on the G string with your pinky, and the third fret on the B string with your middle finger. Now, a normal bar chord, you'll also play the high E string with your index finger, but if you don't want to do that, if a bar chord is difficult for you currently or whatever it is, you can just simply play those four. The high E and the low E are excluded. Okay, the next shape is going to be a G shape. For this, I'm going to suggest you play third fret on the low E string with your middle finger. Skip the A string. Okay, so your, your middle finger is going to lean back slightly so that it rests against the A string and mutes it so that you won't hear it. Okay, then the D string open, the G string open, then on the B string, the third fret with your ring finger. Okay, then I, uh, I've been just skipping the high E string for all of these chords. Okay, then the next chord is gonna be an E minor shape, so low E string open, second fret on the A string, with your middle finger, second fret on the D string with your ring finger, and then you play the rest of the strings open. G open, B open, high E open. Okay? And the final chord that you'll need later on is an A shape, so that's gonna be open A string, second fret on the D string with your index finger, second fret on the a, on the G string, excuse me, with your index finger, and the second fret on the B string with your index finger. So you're flattening your index finger. You, for example, you press it down normally on the D string on the second fret, and then flatten it out. So the first, the first joint of your index finger flattens out to play all three strings. Okay, so those are the five chords you're going to need, and for the first section, the verse, I'll uh, play it for you and then show you how I did it. She grew up on the side of the road where the church bells ring.
Okay, so what we did was the D shape. She grew up on the side of the road, and then where the church bells ring, the B minor shape. She grew up good, G shape. She grew up slow, E minor shape, and then back to D. Okay, so we had D, B minor, G, E minor, and back to D. Remember, you can pause this tape, this video, you can rewind it, you can write down the chord shapes because I'm just going to refer to them now that I've described them in the beginning. So you can go back and check them out yourself. Okay, then for the chorus, I'll play that for you and then I'll tell you how I did it. There's a wild, wild whisper blowing in the wind Calling out my name like a long lost friend Oh, I miss those days as the years go by Oh, nothing sweeter than summertime An American honey Okay, so for that First chord is the G shape. Wow, wow, whisper to D. Low in B minor in the wind. A. Call now G my name. D like a long lost friend. A. And again G. Miss those days. D as the years. B minor, go by, A, oh nothing sweeter, G, in summertime, and back to D, American honey, okay, and then the last section that's different is going to be the bridge, uh, and that's going to be very simple, we're just going to do the B minor, A, we're going to add one difference than we've had so far, which is then G, then you're going to play the D like you played it before, but if you can, you want to play your, you want to use your thumb to play the second fret on the low E string along with it. And then the E minor shape. So we had the D shape with our thumb playing the second fret on the low E string at the same time. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. If you can't, if your thumb won't reach or if you don't want to change your fingering or whatever, you can just play G, D, E minor. Okay? And that part is going to go Gone for so long now Gotta get back to her somehow. Back to D. To American honey. And then on with the rest of the song. So you only have those three sections. Uh, the verse, the chorus, and the bridge. And they just repeat in different orders. Uh, and the intro really is just sits on the D. Along with all the... But you can just sit on the D. This is the simple version. Okay, so I hope that helped, and I hope you can uh, get this song down. It's a wonderful song. It's very nice to sing, and I hope you enjoy it.